everybody, welcome. We are here today. We made it all the way to the Florida Strawberry Festival. This is the last day for the festival and I've been dying to come here for a year. The last time we drove by it, it is our first time ever coming to the Strawberry Festival. Uh, we came by here like a year ago and we wanted to come to the festival, but it was over. We missed it. So I said, we're definitely going this time. And then somehow we waited all the way to the last, hey! <laughs> we waited all the way to the last day to actually come to the festival. But we are here. I am excited. There's tons of food. Oh my gosh, I can smell the food already. It smells so good. It smells so freaking good. And I'm starved. I'm so hungry. I think we're going to just eat the whole time we're here. I saw something about pig races that I'm excited to check out because I've never seen a pig race. Um, and world famous strawberry shortcake here. I mean, we're going to get so many strawberries. It's going to be unbelievable. So. Come along with us, it's gonna be fantastic. Stay tuned. Oh man, it's been a while since I've been to a festival like this and all I wanna do is eat the whole time. Everything looks so good. Yum. Caramel apples with nuts, regular caramel apples, candy apples. What are these, little wood pigs? What are they, log hogs? Yeah, they're cute, look, there's some up here on this tree up here. Oh boy, I just found this baked potato booth here that has all kind of delicious looking stuff on it. I think I'm gonna have to jump in here and start the day off with a delicious loaded baked potato, yum. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. It's an absolute monster. Yum. It was $10. Fully loaded. This thing comes with the baked potato, obviously. It came with cheese, chili, sour cream, butter, chives. Oh, and it also had mushrooms. I didn't get the mushrooms. Decided to pass on that, but it has tons of stuff. I can't wait to dig into it. It looks awesome. This looks so freaking good. Look at this. Chili, sour cream. I don't even know about the chili, but I wanted to try it. Oh man, that hits. It's so good. The chili's really good on it too. I'm surprised. I, kinda, I was kind of a little worried about the chili, but it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know what to say about a baked potato. It's salty. It tastes like a potato. It has cheese, sour cream, all the good stuff in there. It's amazing. $10 and it's huge. Look at this thing. Literally, I mean, it's humongous. I can I can hardly hold this. I don't know how I'm gonna continue to eat and film at the same time because I gotta walk around and carry the food, but it's awesome. Tell us what y'all think of the potatoes. I love it. it. It's like, it's exactly what I wanted when I walked in. She said there was a big potato place, and I was like, that's exactly what I'm getting. So, and I love it. It's huge. Me and Steve could have probably shared one because we're gonna get other food, but I think we were just starving when we walked in, so we all just got one. So. Yes, we were definitely starving. This is probably one of the best potatoes I've had. I never really get them with chili. And it's really good chili. It's amazing. I mean, I didn't get one myself, but I keep taking it from her. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I love everything about it. I'm not a huge beans fan, but you can't really taste the beans. So. Same. It's pretty Boston, not gonna lie. <laughs> it really is. What'd you get, Nick? Got a slushy. I have watermelon on the bottom, green apple, and lemonade. I've only tasted the, the lemonade on top. Is it good? Plus, is it sour? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. I haven't gotten to the bottom yet, so I'll update you once I get to the bottom. And I feel like I feel like that slushy was a really good deal. You basically mixed your own. They had like eight or so or ten flavors. And it was only six dollars for that cup. It's a pretty good sized cup. And you get refills for half off. So three dollar refills as much as you want all day. I feel like that's a good deal. Ooh, we got cheese steaks, corn dogs, Polish and Italian sausage. This is what I'm here for. Strawberry shortcake, yum. You enjoying that brain freeze there? No, that was like one of the worst brain freezes I've ever had. I was like trying to walk in this big crowd. You gotta take sips. You gotta cry. I'm trying to drink it like a regular drink. <laughs> that's because so thirsty. You know when you're thirsty, yeah. you're just like it's good too. drinking it. There is so much food here to choose from. We just picked up these chili cheese dogs and chili cheese fries, and they look awesome. They had Philly cheese steaks there too that looked amazing. But check out this chili cheese dog and these fries. Oh my gosh, yum! That looks so freaking good. Amazing. 
I like how it's like a cheese sauce <laughs> instead of like shredded cheese. And the hot dog is very good. Chili cheese fries are probably like my specialty. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, I like the chili a little better than the baked potato because there's no beans. Yeah. So I can just eat it and not have to look for any beans. The cheese sauce on there is really good and the fries are crispy. Yeah, I feel like the chili makes or breaks it. Like it's got to have like good chili and that chili looks actually really good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. That's a big hot dog too. It's in like a little tiny bun and a big hot dog. You know how the hot dog is like spilling out of the bun? That's how you know it's good. Yum. Look at these donuts they have here. Handcrafted donuts. You can get strawberries and whipped cream and chocolate on them. Yum. It looks so good. Yum. Look at that. That looks awesome. Uh, had to get a drink. Check this cool little cup out. Diet Coke for me. And of course she picked up. Unsweetened iced tea. Unsweetened iced tea. It's big. It was expensive. It was seven dollars, but we're out of fare, so. It's kind of hard to find. It's kind of hard to find good unsweetened iced tea in the South because mostly they drink sweet tea. Yeah. She doesn't like sweet tea. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Those turkey legs are huge. Oh my goodness, they're huge. They're like, they're like twice the size of the ones you find in Disney or Universal. Corn on the cob looks bussin'. Look at him. What is that? Ribs or something down there? Or some sort of pork? I don't know. Maybe it's shish kebabs. Oh, it's shish kebabs. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. That looks good. Were those pork chops? Oh, my gosh. Looks so good. Yeah. Jumbo pork chops on a stick. Looks like we're making our way down into the festival, like carnival type games and rides and attractions. Oh, we got the sea dragon here. Hey, that looks kind of fun, actually. Oh, look at this cliffhanger right here. Wow, that's really going up there, too. There's a lot of rides here. Look, they have an old-fashioned fun house. It says Mardi Gras. It's like Greece. Got a little indoor section here, kind of an indoor exhibition hall. I think this is the smaller one. There's a much larger one we're going to check out a little bit. Lots of people selling little crafts and things. What do we got right here? Caramel sauce bar. What? A caramel sauce bar. Yum. $13 per bottle. What will we find in here, I wonder? Sweet Treat Lane. Ooh, those look pretty good. Cupcakes. Chocolate Strawberry Express. Ooh, so lots of chocolate. Chocolate covered strawberries, yum. $2 a piece. Make your own strawberry shortcake. Yum. Oh my goodness, strawberry bread. Are you kidding me with this? Yum. Man, look at this wall of strawberries here. Yum.
Some strawberry fields right here. Yum. I want to pick some of those strawberries off and just eat them. Looks like we have found the history of the Florida Strawberry Festival. Strawberry royalty through the years. The Strawberry Queen. There we go. And then there's a court. This was 2022 Florida Strawberry Festival. So this person was the queen for the year. Looks like they have like a, a jam and preserves competition during this festival too. First place, triple berry jam, all kind of stuff. Strawberry margarita jam, yum. Oh man, I could have entered my pie into this contest. I would have won. There's a giant robot. I don't even know what it is. Oh, he's a walking, talking advertisement for gutter protection. You know, sir, I've, uh, uh, you know, right about now, you know, like very, very recently, like, you know, just almost a minute ago, I don't feel so tall anymore. I just, I just don't. <laughs> you know, sir, if you're any taller, you can work weekends as a forklift at Home Depot. Oh. Well, don't laugh because it's double time on Sunday. We just saw a giant robot, and I was like, what is that giant robot? And it was literally an advertisement for gutter replacement for your house. So uh, that was kind of funny. I feel like that was a lot of advertisement for gutters. We just picked up more delicious food. We just got delicious Philly cheesesteak. It's sort of on a hoagie roll, but with all this like shaved steak and it's got this like cheese whiz, almost like cheese on it. And look at, the, and there's peppers all on the bottom, which you can't really see, but they're in there. And then we got a delicious Italian sausage with all the peppers and fixins. It looks so good, can't wait to try it. It's extremely good. It's kind of hard to eat and messy. I need napkins. Alright, so I didn't get to eat any of the Philly cheesesteak or the Italian sausage because those jokers behind me just de destroyed them before I... I literally was like, oh, I'll just get a bite. You know, and then we started walking. I turned around. And they were gone. And it was gone. She was like, well, here, you can have some of this. And she was pointing to, like, the cheesesteak that was laying on her arm. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to eat the cheesesteak off your arm. It was messy. Like, so, yeah, I didn't get to try any of it. But they said they were both good. They were both good? Very good. Loved it. And the Italian sausage? It was good. It was Boston? All we do is eat here. We haven't done anything besides eat. And there's all sorts of entertainment, so... We're gonna try and catch these pig races in a little bit. One of the things that I'm finding is that most of the places have refillable cups. Um, and some of the refillable cups, you can only refill it at that particular place. But a lot of them, you can refill at lots of different locations. Like they have a giant, like refillable, um, like a giant refillable, like squeeze thing that you can get the strawberry lemonade at and just get a refill. And the refill is only like five bucks. Um, and these cups right here, this was $7. I got one of these earlier. $7 seems like a lot for this Diet Coke. It's only three dollars to refill it. You can refill it in all kinds of different places. So, been getting a refill all day long with this thing. We are at the Robinsons Family <laughs> Pig Racers. I've never seen pig racing before. Have you seen it? Nope. It says the pig paddling porkers, <laughs> racing pigs. I'm excited. I love pigs. Oh, sounds cute. I've never seen pigs racing, but I see water. Are they gonna run through the water? Swimming. There's like a little lap and then there's some sort of water. <laughs> and what's your favorite animal? Pig. Pigs. She loves pigs, so we have to come see the pig racing. <laughs> it's pretty crowded here. It's not like a huge little arena, I'll show it, yeah. but it's very cute. So it looks like the entry gates are right over there where they're gonna come in and then it looks like they're gonna run around this little circle. But there's this weird bridge with water in it right there that looks like it like cuts it 
I don't know, cuts it in half, or maybe maybe they come in in both sides, and then whoever gets there first has to run through the water, and that's the end. I don't know. We'll find out, but it looks exciting. We're getting ready to start the race. Here we go. Come on, piggies. Come on, piggies. Number three, go, number three, go, number three, go, number three. Go, number three. Oh! Our pig one, number three. What did everybody think about the pig race? They were so cute. They're so talented. They were <laughs> extremely cute. They really were. Yeah. I like the one that like stopped. Yeah. He didn't want to jump in the water. And he just kept chilling there. And then he like cannonballed in at the last minute. <laughs> it was so cute. It really was. And then the one that kept getting, that was afraid of the photographer. Yeah. It was so cute. We are finally getting in line for the strawberry shortcake and I'm starved. And they have strawberry shortcake made with your choice of cake or biscuit, only $5. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm dying to try this. I got the cake version. Um, a couple people got the biscuit version. Man, it looks good. Oh man, look at that. Oh. Um, unfortunately, as I was sitting here, a big gust of wind came by. And you know, like at the festival, all the like hay and like stuff that pigs have been walking on and dirt and everything that's on the ground. Yeah, all of that just flew up into my food and my face. So I'm going to eat this bite despite the fact that it has hay in it. <laughs> oh man, it's good. Mm. Oh my goodness. I got the, the, the cake is good. It's like a pound cake. I wasn't sure. I assumed it kind of would be like a pound cake. It's awesome. I've been waiting for this the whole day and it's so good. These fresh strawberries are delicious. The whipped cream is fresh. Freshly made, I watched them. They were churning it as I walked up. Pound cake's delicious, strawberries are awesome. Can't say enough good things. It was like five bucks. All right, we got strawberries and pine berries sold here. I'm gonna be honest, I've never heard of a pine berry. I think we officially found the pine berries. Pinkaboo pine berries. Finally got to try that white pine berry, kind of like a white strawberry. Um, they said it was a like a, a cross between a Japanese berry or Japanese strawberry and a regular strawberry. Um, and I got a free sample of it, so I got to try it. But I'll be honest, I didn't really notice much of a difference between that and a regular strawberry. But it, it kind of tasted like almost like an unripened strawberry, like a little bit more sour or like citrusy. I don't know, but it wasn't like... I'll just go with a regular strawberry. We just tried this. There was a place that had this candied jalapeno sauce. Yeah, and I love jalapenos, so I was like, sweet. So we were like, ooh, it, was, it said sake or something, candied jalapeno. So um, she tried it because they had little samplers. And um, I don't I know. I didn't, all in my mouth I didn't ask her how she felt about it, but I'm going to recreate what I saw. She <laughs> tried it, and I was like, how was it? And she was like, 
Literally, she was like. I was like, I don't think she liked it. It was terrible. Didn't like it. And I put it all in my mouth. I was like, yeah, I'm about to eat all these jalapenos, not just like a little sliver. It was terrible. She did. She she and ate like. Was she right really there. committed to it. She so was like, I, I was trying to keep my face straight, but man, that was not good. We got strawberry cookie, strawberry white chocolate chip cookie, chocolate chip. It's only six dollars for six cookies, or thirteen for twelve. Like that, that's like a steal. They look so good too. Yum. They not only had delicious cookies, but you can make them into an ice cream sandwich. You basically just picked which cookies you wanted, and then they stacked it with a bunch of ice cream in the middle. Look bussin'. And Mr. Nick back here got the chocolate chip ice cream sandwich. Yum. Now, I gotta know if it's any good when you start eating it. It looks bussin'. Okay, so it was an ice cream. It was like icing, like delicious cake icing. It's good. Oh my gosh, if I'd have known that, I definitely would have got one. Is it good? Oh, it's good. Lou, one of my favorite cookies is a cookie with all that white icing in the middle. Oh. Same. Oh man, it looks Boston. It is. Is it Boston? I'm so sick. I'm so sick that I didn't get it. Oh man. Well, maybe next year. Getting that money's worked on that slushy. Check it out. Three dollar refill. Look at that. Got watermelon, sour apple, blue raspberry, and more watermelon at the top. Boston. This is like the tenth refill of this thing that we've gotten. Three bucks. What an amazing day we had here at the Strawberry Festival. It and I think there's a bird dying in the background. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Not sure what that is. Something's getting stepped on and dying, but <laughs> it was so much fun. I yeah, enjoyed the Strawberry fun. Festival. I think we spent like $200 though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we spent like 200. Yeah. At least 200. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. But we also ate a lot. Uh, and we didn't even ride any rides. We yeah, just really no. spent money on food. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. So was it worth? What do we think? Was it worth the Strawberry Festival? Was it worth coming? Oh yeah, I'll definitely yeah. come back again. Yeah. Yes. And we and you can't see it, but we have these giant bags full of strawberries <laughs> that we're taking home with us. So, uh, anyhow, I thought it was a ton of fun. Lots of great food. Lots of great festivities. Lots of people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It's, most people I've ever seen. It's the. Before. It is literally the most crowded festival I've ever been to yeah, in my entire life. <laughs> uh, it is the last day for it though, so maybe yeah. it's just more crowded. That bird really is dying back here. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, if let's see if I can do this without falling down. Thanks for joining us. It's been an awesome, awesome day. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes tomorrow. Until then, the noble way. It's the easy it's way. It's the easy way. Bye bye, everybody. Thanks. <laughs>